everyone, today's video is going to be all about how to prevent eyeliner and mascara and smudging. I can't tell you how many people ask me this question, whether it be in everyday life, I get in emails, Facebook messages, comments, everything. Everyone seems to have this problem and I have a couple solutions for you, so I hope you find them helpful. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first tip, and this is something that I do every single day, is set your under eye concealer with a powder. You can use your regular face powder if you prefer. My favorite face powder is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Face Powder. I don't like to use that though under my eyes because it's a little bit heavy and I like more of lighter products under my eyes because the skin is so thin and stuff. Um, so I just go in with my regular concealer and then I pat that out with my finger and after that I always use a setting powder and this is actually the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This is made for under the eyes. It's super finely milled so it's not going to be too cakey under the eyes or anything. Um, this is supposed to help you know, set the under eye area. Also it's supposed to help conceal a little bit but it is pretty much transparent. It has like a little bit of a pinkish white color so it's supposed to help brighten as well. Um, but you want the area under your eyes to be more dry in texture and not be very moist and stuff. So whether that be from your concealer or your moisturizer, if you use an eye cream, which is great, but you want to just make sure the area is dry so you have that powder over top. That's going to keep it from smudging down because if there's moisture there, then you can get little dots from your mascara and it's more likely to run. So always setting it with an under eye powder is essential. And for the brush that I always use, it's the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. This brush is pointed, it's perfect for the under eye area, it's made for that area. It just fits really nicely, but you could use any brush that you have on hand, but this just works really well. My next tip is to have a really good quality or waterproof eyeliner. If you're into pencil liners, my favorite is the CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner Pencil. I have mine in black, I have a brown one too that I love as well. This has a really fine point, so it's great for using as eyeliner. I'm pretty sure that this is waterproof. Um, I'm not sure if it, it says that exactly on the packaging, but it stays on really well. I don't have a lot of problems with smudging, so this is a great eyeliner from the drugstore. Really cheap, and it comes in a bunch of different colors as well. So I personally like to use gel liner every single day. This is the Studio Gear Invincible, and this is in the color Onyx. It's just a really black gel liner, and I use a really nice brush actually to apply it. It's the Studio Gear number 29 brush. This. Um, it's from the same company, Studio Gear. I have a 10% off coupon code. If you guys are interested, I'll be sure to put that in the description box. But this is just a great black gel eyeliner. You can work with it before it sets, like while it's still creamy, but then once it dries, it just sets into place and there's no moving it. I don't have any smudging problems with this. So this is great to use like for my wings for the outer corner so it doesn't smudge or anything. Um, I don't know of a really good liquid liner. I'm still on the hunt for one, so if you guys know a great just waterproof liquid liner, definitely let me know. I'll be sure to look around online and stuff and see if I can find a good one for you guys and I'll be sure to put that on the product list that's on the blog post with this video. So if you prefer a liquid liner, I'll definitely try to find one for you all. So my next tip is actually to apply your eyeliner differently than you might already be doing it. If you like to rim your eyes with black liner or if you like to put it in the waterline, I would avoid doing that because if you're putting your black liner on the waterline, which is that inner rim of your eye, that's where it's really wet, that's where you have your tears, it's really a moist area of your skin, it's just going to smudge down and you especially want to avoid the corner. I don't apply it there at all because I have small like almond shaped eyes, so if I put it just all over my eye, it makes them look really small. Um, so I avoid the inner corner at all because it always you know, smudges and stuff, so I don't even put it there. So what you want to do is just take your eyeliner and go right up underneath your lashes so you're not actually putting it right over top your lashes because that's still going to get on that area where it can be wet. So you want to make sure you go underneath your lashes, get as close as you can. You don't want to have like a gap between, like you want it to be still really close, but you just want to go under your lashes where the skin is a little bit drier there. And then I just connect it to the upper corner and then I kind of angle it up towards my brow. So that's how I like to apply my liner. Um, and I don't have any problems with smudging that way. But if you're just like rimming the whole eye, then you're definitely going to have more smudging because it's in areas that are a lot wetter than you know the other areas I was talking about. So my next tip is after you apply your eyeliner, just take a Q-tip and kind of smudge over that liner. That's just going to absorb any leftover moisture. It's going to help blend it out to where you don't have like um, just a lot of the creaminess you know on your eye. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but it just helps to kind of smudge it with a Q-tip. Or you could use a pencil brush. You can see that's what I actually did today because I was doing a smoky eye look. Which, by the way, I'll have a tutorial up on Thursday for this easy smoky eye tutorial, just a step-by-step -step, um, video. So that's what I was actually doing in this um, demo here. But I just took a pencil brush, I put a little bit of eyeshadow on it, and I just kind of smudged over it. And that just really helps to set the liner in place. 
So another thing that you can actually do if you're not wearing eyeshadow and you don't want kind of that smudge blended out look, you can take just a very fine angled eyeliner brush like this one. This one's from Sedona Lace. It's the EB23 brush. Sigma makes great ones of these two, but you just want to make sure that it's very skinny so it's not like going to be wide and mess up your line. So after you apply your eyeliner, then you just want to take a matching eyeshadow or you could even use like a translucent setting powder, I guess. Um, but I like to use a matching shadow. So I like to use like a matte black eyeshadow. You don't want to use anything shimmery. And you just want to kind of pat that over your eyeliner. So that's just going to set it in place. It's going to absorb any of the moisture that's in the eyeliner and just help keep it in place. But you don't want to use a heavy hand because if you apply too much, then you'll get like little dots like fall out or this will even smudge too. So you don't want the eyeshadow to actually smudge. You just want to use just a little bit to set it in place. I don't usually do this though because I don't have problems, but it depends on the liner you're using. You would want to avoid eyeliners that are super creamy, like anything that says um, like coal eyeliner. I think the coal ones are really creamy. I don't know. There's different names of eyeliners. I'll be sure to have that in the blog post with this video. I need to look them all up. But there's like Kajal Coal um, like cream, different ones, like different names for pencil eyeliners that mean different things of how much moisture is in them. So I'll be sure to include that in the blog post. Most of these tips apply for mascara too. If you're using that setting powder around your eyes, you shouldn't have problems with mascara smudging. Um, if you do though, you would want to use either a waterproof mascara or I have this from Anastasia. This is the Last Genius and it's just a clear mascara top coat. So in the summertime when I'm just wearing mascara and no face makeup, you know, your skin is naturally very moist or you have sweat and oil, that sort of thing. Um, so I'll just take this and just dot it on the tips of my lashes. So you, as you can see, it's just clear. I just kind of go over just the very tips pretty much right here in the middle is where it always smudges on me. So that is my couple tips on just how to prevent your eyeliner and mascara from smudging. I did do a blog post a long time ago. It's a little bit outdated though on the products, but I can still link that for you guys if you're interested. I might have missed something that I said in that blog post, um, but it's the same topic. I just thought I would do a video on it. So be sure to let me know your tips in the comments down below if you have any on how you like to prevent your eyeliner from smudging. And you can also leave me your favorite eyeliner that you like to use if it works really well and it doesn't smudge on you. Side note, I also wanted to mention that I did add a calendar widget to my blog, so it's going to be in the sidebar. If you go to getglammedup.com, I'll have the link and everything down below. Um, I put a calendar, so it's my actual posting schedule. So if you want to see what videos are coming up next and what blog posts, you can always check there. It's really small, but if you actually click on the date, it'll come up and you can see what the video actually is. So that's fun too, and I might make it to where you guys can like add in your request or something, um, but I thought it would be a fun way to kind of share what's coming up next on my channel. I also wanted to remind you all that today is the last day to enter the BoxyCharm giveaway. If you want to win a whole BoxyCharm box, it comes with a Coastal Scents palette in it too, full-size palette, lots of different products. I'm giving that away on my Instagram, so I'll put the picture down below on where you can enter. All you have to do is like the picture and comment by tagging a friend. It's super easy. So today is the last day, so after midnight Easter time is the last time that you guys can enter. And I'll be sure to announce the winner in Thursday's video. So that is everything. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. And thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Over 12 different makeup mistakes that everyone tends to make or that I see a lot. This is kind of like makeup do's and don'ts or just kind of makeup pet peeves. Things I see that a lot of people are missing when they're doing their makeup and I'm going to also show you how you can fix them as well.